Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on February 7th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do. Great space weather update as well. World weather, earthquakes and volcanoes. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, as I did post earlier today, we had quite a large coronal mass ejection in an earth facing position letting a large plasma filament rip towards our planet. It did show the ISWA space prediction spiral showing. A quick, quick look here at the incoming imagery. The Earth to scale diagram. Lots of plasma associated with this last event. As you can see, more is cresting in the in incoming position. Last 48 hours outgoing. One, two, three active sunspots in the outgoing position. 2936 has let off the eight. Minor flares this week, and as well two CMEs. A closer look at the space weather event from today. Large plasma filament ripped from this region right here. Right there. In an earth facing position. As well, keeping an eye on those two regions. Northern Hemisphere of our sun. Quick look at multi-spectrum. No other sun events to talk about. You can see those plasma filaments northeast and northwest on our sun. Space prediction spiral has not changed. This event is heading straight at us. And it will be arriving. February 9th into the 10th. Space weather event is on its way. Most likely we'll see pretty large solar flux. We're in B range right now. Geomagnetic activity will pick up to possibly KP5 or 6. Looking at a real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 450 kilometers per second. After being up steadily over 500 kilometers for the last two days due to the last space weather event. Having a quick look at Alaska 2. This is the last eight hours of imagery today. Amazing sun, amazing power, and amazing to be able to document and see every day. Have a look at our Schumann resonance, a power of 11. Nice healthy power yet again. No major changes with the Schumann Resonance as of late. Quality of 10.2 amplitude power of 11. Now let's have a quick look at earthquakes around the world the last 24 hours. As just recently we had a pretty the largest earthquake the last 24 hours of 5.4 here in face. Micronesia at a 35 kilometer depth. That is the Marianas Trench, way down the southern region of the trench in Ephias, Micronesia. As well, notable 5.1 here, rocking in Taiwan at a 30 kilometer depth. 4.6 here, Sibolga, Indonesia, north of Krakatoa. Luwak, Indonesia, 4.5. 4.7 here, Papua New Guinea, 132 kilometer depth. Over into Fiji, 5.0 reported, as well as 4.6. Wallace and Futuna, 400 kilometer depth. That is the deepest the last 24 hours. Kermadec Islands rocking a 5.0. And as well as 4.8 here, Kermadec Islands, 360 kilometer depth. Minor activity continues through Pahala, Hawaii. Quite a few atop of Mauna Loa. Petersville, Alaska, reporting the largest earthquake today, 4.1. And then across the United States, a lot of minor activity, a little bit concerning in some areas. Minor earthquake here to report. Hope, Canada, notable. 2.7. Depo Bay, Oregon, notable. And as well, Petrolia, 3.0, 3.1, and further southward to a large 3.6 in Trabuca, Trabuco. Canyon, California, as well as Seven Trees, California. This is a little bit concerning. Minor earthquakes racking up and stacking up 
around San Francisco. 3.1, that's the largest in the region for the last little while. As well, just south here at Seven Trees, a 2.7, another minor earthquake reported there. Just a heads up, you never know when she's going to blow. And that's across the United States. Puerto Rico seeing a lot of activity today. 3.8, the largest through the region today. 4.6 here reported in Colombia as well. Ecuador, 4.1. 5.3, Calama, and as well, Bolivia with a 4.5. South Sandwich Islands saw a couple pretty sizable earthquakes as well. 5.2, two of them. And that's just west of the islands themselves. So pressure mounting up into South Sandwich as well, a 4.0 here in Zhang, China. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquake. Pretty pretty bleak. We're looking at just about under 200 earthquakes the last 24 hours, according to USGS. Having a look and a listen to our rumbling planet. This is the last seven days across our world. Definitely keeping an eye on Krakatoa region. As well, the Mediterranean has been very quiet. Central America, pretty quiet as well. And especially up into Canada here. A lot of recent activity off the coast. Definitely watching that. That big system is now heading over into Nova Scotia after leaving a couple inches of ice and quite a stormy event across the United States as that big system is heading into Iceland as forecasted the last couple of days here with daily events worldwide. As well, pretty big system sucking up some Sahara Desert sand. I will be sharing that with you in the next video. Let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes. Sangay in Ecuador, Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia, Fuego, Guatemala, Sabancaya, Peru, Semeru, Indonesia, Villa Rica and Chile, Raventador in Ecuador, Semis Napochnoi, United States, Krakatoa, Indonesia, Marapi in Indonesia, Santa Maria, Guatemala, Nevada to Chilean, Colombia, and that is about 13 volcanoes getting updated today. Another quick look here at satellite imagery across the world, across the Pacific Ocean right now. Deep trough stretching down to the equator. Some strange things happening on our planet right now. Something I'm going to sh share here with you I have not seen yet. We also have tropical cyclone Batsuri as it has devastated parts of Madagascar. Many homes destroyed, many people displaced, and about 20 lives lost. Let's have a look at our world right now for winds. And this is at 10,000 feet. That is our northern polar vortex right now. Stretching a lot of cold weather into parts of eastern Canada and as well Nunavut. But something I wanted to share here is our equatorial line. Coming across, you can see it is distinctive line right there. Winds in the north run east and winds in the south run west. Now let's have a quick look back to 2021 and look at where that line was and look at the difference in the jet stream. Definitely something has flipped, switched, or whatever it's doing. It's definitely not the same as it's been ever. If you look back to 2013 with Null School, it has never looked this intense and strange. Wanted to note here too, got quite a bit of snowfall heading into Alaska, over 350 centimeters heading into parts of White Horse as well. Northern BC, 260 centimeters there. So northern BC and Alaska, you do have quite a bit of snowy weather heading your way. And you can see snowy weather stretching pretty much right across the Aleutian Islands, 
heavy snow amounts all across the islands right now. Unalaska, 130 centimeters. Over 90 centimeters there on that little island. But a lot of snow falling across the North Pacific right now. Very cooling northern hemisphere, that's for sure. Having a quick look across Canada, most snowfall amounts will be in parts of Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. And as well, central BC and northwestern BC. And let's get into the five-day forecast brought to you by MeteorWorth and Daily Events Worldwide. Home base, Ontario here. Here's that system heading out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, finally out. And then heading into Greenland and Iceland with snow. Not much snow left with the systems, but definitely heading northward. And then watching this low pressure system here come into Alaska. You've got two of them heading in Wednesday. One of them is going to shoot straight across north of the Rockies. And head down into the central plains, bringing very snowy weather to parts of Manitoba, northern Ontario, and then into southern Ontario. So a big Alberta clipper heading our way will be arriving Thursday night into Friday. Probably be a two-day event. Strong cold high pressure bridge moving in behind it. And watch for uh, snowfall totals to pick up through Colorado and parts of central and western United States. Overlooking Europe, still forecasting a pretty big system heading your way. We'll be arriving Wednesday, Thursday to northern parts of the United Kingdom. Eastern Europe, you've still got four low-pressure systems bringing in tons of snow to the region. Parts of Sweden, Finland, Low pressure system racing through the Mediterranean, still forecast, heading into Kuwait for Friday. But yeah, big, cold, snowy picture for parts of Eastern Europe and as well Russia into Ukraine. Big high pressure ridge moving eastward. Watch for that to swing around the planet for the end of February. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the West Pacific. No major systems to talk about. Most of them are just huge and in the middle of the ocean. Indonesia, Micronesia. No major weather systems to talk about. Low pressure center just south of Indonesia. It's going to head south towards the Antarctic. High pressure ridge building in for all of Australia this week. Watch for daily evaporation. To rains to move in. Thursday, Friday, western parts of Australia. And then you've got this tropical cyclone, well, depression right now over New Caledonia. Going to bring a long line of moisture here, funneling down into New Zealand. So very great days ahead of you right up until Saturday. Overlooking Hawaii, no major weather systems heading to you. Very dry across west U.S., central U.S., Overlooking South America, heavy daily evaporation rains through Bolivia, Paraguay this week, Argentina, Chile. Other than that, no major weather systems. Overlooking Africa, long lines of moisture still being funneled in the last couple of days, but it will dry up a little bit here the next few days. Daily evaporation rains to continue as Batsurai heads into the Antarctic. Some more systems developing in the Indian Ocean in the long range. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Much love, everybody. Really hope you enjoyed today's update. Doing my best over here to keep you updated every day. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.